Well, uh, more ice is coming tomorrow. Doubt that it's going to be as beautiful. First alert meteorologist Ray Petlin is tracking freezing rain. Right. Yeah, and uh, freezing rain is the icy glaze. It's the stuff that makes everything slick that it touches. And you can see we have a lot of moisture moving in our direction and our temperatures over the coming hours will fall off. Now we do have some returns showing up on the radar. Oftentimes, uh, you have a situation like this where you get some early arrivers, but what I think is happening here because I was looking at some of the observations, the weather stations around and nothing is reporting right now any drizzle or freezing drizzle at the moment. So I think what's falling is evaporating and that's actually causing the temperatures to drop. It's called evaporative cooling as as moisture evaporates. It, it creates a cooling trend um, and that's what we're seeing occur up to the north. So when more abundant moisture moves in here, we're probably going to see a better shot for that freezing rain especially north of Pittsburgh. That's where we have the most likely uh, scenario of freezing rain developing Route 422 through I 80 up closer to the lakeshore. Now south of this, yes, there is still that chance and it only takes a very small amount of ice to create some big time problems. So just keep in mind there's going to be some freezing drizzle and potentially even some of that freezing rain trying to push in to Pittsburgh as well. 2 a.m. This is just a few hours away. We start seeing that edging in along I 80 down to Route 422. Some of that tries to push into Pittsburgh from time to time. And then once we get later into the morning, we'll start to see the colder air going up to the north. That's because a warm front's going to be pushing in here and then rain will take over for everyone. And we're going to see several rounds of rain through the week. When it comes to ice accumulations, we call that accretion. We're going to see the potential for uh, the ice again from Pittsburgh and north, the most abundant from Route 422 through I-80 in our area, and you can't rule out some ice down to I-70. That's why the National Weather Service has uh, Washington and Westmoreland counties included in the winter weather advisory for the potential of this freezing rain to occur. Now, current conditions show our temperatures are still in the upper 30s, so we're still a little warm for now, but as our temperatures fall, that sets the stages for that freezing rain to develop. So we're going to get down into the upper 20s and low 30s by early tomorrow morning, and that means we have a first alert weather day because of freezing rain, especially north of Pittsburgh. This could lead to some of us having slick roads during the morning commute, especially some of those lesser traveled, lesser treated areas, and everyone sees rain once we get into the afternoon. It's going to be a widespread rain, and we're going to get several rounds of it this week. It's going to be a pretty gloomy week. I'm just going to let, let you know that right now. 29, mostly cloudy. That freezing rain turns on later later tonight. We'll see that into the morning tomorrow, then rain temperatures top off in the lower 40s. We have the temps warming up. We're talking Thursday and Friday in the mid 50s, lower 40s again for the weekend and a chance of rain every day through the weekend. Now with the freezing rain on the way, make sure you check in with Ron who will have the latest weather and where the freezing rain is located and John with how it's impacting the roads on the KDK morning news starting tomorrow at 430.